Hi everyone, my name is Karen Samano, and today I will be talking about family stress theory, more specifically the ABCX model and double ABCX model. But first, a quick history lesson on family stress theory. Uh, family stress theory was developed by Reuben Hill while researching on war induced separation and reunion. He first conceptualized family stress theory in 1949, which led to him developing the ABCX model. Now, what defines family? Anderson, 2013, and Boss, 1988, 2002, explained family member is not only specific number of people, but also an aggregate of particular relationship and shared memories successes, failures, and as inspirations. Families are part of society and communities, so their stress is influenced by everything in our daily life. For example, let's take a look at this picture from the show Modern Family. In this show, there is the case of non-biological children, half children, half siblings, half um, and step children as well. However, although they have all of these complex situations going on, they still consider themselves part of part of a family or a family overall. And uh, together as a family, they battle these stressors of the everyday life. Stress and family stress. Family stress is um, is defined as a pressure or tension on status quo or disturbance of the family steady state. Whereas stress is defined as orchestrated set of bodily defense, defense versus any form of noxious stimuli. Now, let's get to the ABCX model. The ABCX model is made of four components. We have A, which is the stressor provoking event, B, family strengths slash resources, C, the meaning attached to an to the event by your fam by the family, and X, which is the stress or crisis. A way I like to see the ABCX model is A plus B plus C equals X, meaning Stressor plus family resources plus meaning attached equals crisis. But let's break it down. First, let's start with A, which is the stressor event. The stressor event is any an occurrence that provokes a variable amount of change in the family system. They, however, there are ty 10 types of family stress, but each family is affected differently. But also, not all stressors are easily understood by the family. Let's take, for example, this picture. Here we have a male-bodied person who seems to be in a stressor event, who has a thoughts of different stressor events. They could be having a stressor event of an argument with in a relationship. They could be having a stressor event about their health, about traveling, could be about budget, budgeting or their job and their house situation. Now, let's break into each individual stressor. The first stressor, stressor is internal versus external, which means that a stressor is all internal or external to the social system affected. Some examples for internal could be feelings or expectations a family or individual may have, while external is the toxic environment someone may live in, getting injured, or some financial stress. Number two is pervasive versus bounded which is the degree to where the crisis affects entire entire family system or limited part. 
And number three, we have precipitate onset versus gradual onset, which is the suddenness with which the crisis occurred. This could mean that by precipitate, it happens without a warning, or gradually, which means happens over time. At four, we have intense versus mild, which is the degree of severity of the crisis. At number five, we have transitory versus chronic, which is to the degree the crisis is present, which could either be long-term or short-term. And number six, we have random versus expe expectable. I think this one is kind of similar to precipitate onset versus gradually onset because, again, this one could happen randomly or it could happen expectedly. At number seven, we have natural generations versus artificial, which is a crisis that happens due to natural conditions such as natural disasters, as could be the hurricane that we just had, to develop a changes or artificial crisis, which is in the result from tech or human-made events, such as technology problems or war that humans create. At number eight, we have scarcity versus surplus, which is a crisis that represents lack of resources or overabundance over of items. At number nine, we have perceived insolvable versus perceived solvable, which is a crisis level to which an, an individual may believe is solvable or not. And on number 10, we have substantive content. Now, let's move on to B, which is the resources. We could tell the, we can say that the better the resources a family has, the less of a problem a stressor becomes. For example, McCoven and Patterson define resources as stress traits, characteristics, or abilities of individual family members, family system, and communities that are used to meet demands. Whereas family system resources is internal characteristics that protect the family from stress stressors and help the family adapt. We can see the example from the picture where there is a family and some resources they could have is wealth, could be their time, or wealth over time, their health, medicine, different types of resources that are available to different families. However, it could change from family to family. Then let's move on to C, which is perception. Perception is the impact of stressor, event, or crisis, depending on the meaning the family gives it. There's three factors that influence perception. There's spirituality, values and beliefs, and stage of family. We could take the example of the cup that we see here that somebody's perception could change to either being half full or half empty. For spirituality, spirituality is what brings sense of meaning or makes one feel connected with others. An example of this could be religious communities. However, it doesn't always need to be religion. There could always be spirituality where people meditate and heal their inner self with, from their chakras and make sure their inner self is aligned. There's also the belief or value orientation, which influence family perceptions as well. We have mastery orientation which a family member or a family individual can solve problems or control everything around them. An example of this could be teenagers. Sometimes some teenagers feel that the problems around them are not big and they feel that they have it all planned and all under control. Now there is fatalistic orientation, which is everything is determined by a higher power. This could be seen in different religious communities where many people say God has a plan. It's all part of God. God gave you life. You have a purpose type of scenarios. 
And lastly, the last thing that can change our perception is the stage of family life cycle, which is the point in life where family exists at the moment in life. For example, let's compare single life versus a married life. How somebody perceives the world while single is completely different how they perceive life once they're married and have children or etc. Next, let's move to crisis. With crisis, it's a change in a family's steady state. However, crisis is not bad until it's problematic. Foss, 1988 describes crisis as a pressure that is so severe that makes the family system to be blocked. However, again, crisis, it's not bad until it's problematic, and it does not always break the family. We can see an example of crisis here with SpongeBob from that episode where he forgets somebody's name and his brain goes into Christ has a crisis and goes into fire. Now, for the double ABCX model, it is expanded by McCubbin and Joanne uh, Patterson. What they did is that they added post-crisis variables. They added AA, BB, CC, and of course, X. However, now AA is a pile up of stressors on top of the uh, of initial stressor. BB is the existent resources plus also new resources. CC is a perception of stressors that led to crisis plus the family perception of X plus AA plus BB. Now, there are two types of perceptions somebody can see. It could be positive, which, was, which helps the family cope better with the stressor, and negative, which means that a family won't, co won't cope as well with the stressor. However, at the end of the day, the product of the ABCX model or double, double ABCX model is adaptation. This just means that a family can change in their family system, whether it's by changing behaviors, rules, or roles, or by changing the, fire, the family environment. Family does recover from stress. However, they must do a certain change in order for them to recover from their stress. Thank you.